Hi, I'm Deli Dutton. I've been going to my local library's art club. We do a craft or try an art technique every month. Recently we did squeegee art. Basically you take paint and put dots or lines or other shapes on the paper and then squeegee it down. Some of these get super complicated with surprise character reveals and such. But that's not what I'm doing today. I had the thought that it would be kind of neat to take a micron pen and treat the papers that I did squeegee art on like a reverse coloring book page. This was my attempt at doing cats by drawing the top of their heads and dragging it down. I think I didn't have enough paint or something because it didn't last at the bottom of the page. So I went over it again, which worked out, I think, because now they're kind of like Halloween cats. I've got one that's sort of like ra a radioactive cat, one that's purple, and an angry red kitty monster. Next one started out as the letter B, but I kind of see a girl with hair over her eyes wearing a yellow raincoat standing outside a window. Or is she inside and we're outside? I think she's inside. Something about how the colors are running down makes it feel like it's in the rain. Maybe the girl inside is thinking about coming out into the rain. This one kind of makes me think of a lady in a kimono with her arms spread out so that you can see the long flowing sleeves. The actual proportions aren't really human, but she can be a cool ghost lady or something. This one I see a rabbit. Kinda reminds me of the fire bunnies from Pokemon. It has a long flowy scarf and red hands. Some of its thumbs are backwards, but maybe its pose is a bit twisted up or something. I don't know. I think this one started out as cats, but I actually think it looks like a trio of townhouses. Or cake, but the lighter bit at the top reads as a roof to me. The red house has some vines growing up the side. It also has a chimney going up the front. I feel like most houses that have fireplaces don't have their chimney right next to their front door, but that's fine. It also has some interesting shaped windows. I was trying to follow the fluctuations in the paint for ideas on where the window should go. The brown house also has a chimney and it has some stairs going up to its front door. The windows are all kind of on one side. This one probably doesn't have the best lighting. With the black house, I drew out windows based on the paint like the others, but even then it was kind of hard to see them. So I added a bit of yellow and orange Posca to light it up from the inside. These were a lot of fun to make. I think this is a neat way to use stuff that you did for technique practice. I enjoyed it a lot. Thanks for watching, like, and subscribe to continue on this art journey with me. Bye!